What is going on guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you know, I don't always do ratings videos because I think a lot of times Madden intentionally makes ratings wrong in an effort to stir up controversy, upset athletes, and get promotion for their game. I mean, they just actually had a tweet with Reggie Wayne where they promised to get his speed right when he was criticizing on NFL Network today. And over the weekend, you've got the Madden ratings performance adjusters at the 40 yards of gold event changing speed ratings for four players when the whole NFL wasn't represented there. It's not even an NFL competition. It just kind of amazes me when we go back and look at some of these things because it's really not subjective. Strength and speed is measurable. When you look at stuff like this, and I appreciate the Twitter followers all day that approach me with this, you've got Boykin and Hill here. You know, Boykin runs a 4-4-2. Hill runs a 4-4. How do you get the speed rating 92-90? to it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. When you have players that run in the 40, that should be the basis for the combine and the basis for what their speed is in the game. Now, I want you to look at Tony Pollard here. He runs a 4-5-2. A 4-5-2. And yet, when we look at his matting ratings for this year, he has a 93 speed. So, Boykin runs a 4-4-2, 92 speed, 90 acceleration. Pollard runs a 4-5-2, 93 speed, 94 acceleration. That doesn't make any sense. And when they're questioned about it, this is what they talk about. Zedrick Woods' a strong safety is slower than what he tested at because they looked at game film and said he was unable to cover ground, and that's why they slowed him. Why? Isn't that what pursuit is for? Isn't that what play recognition is for? Isn't that what all these other ratings are for? Shouldn't their speed have a baseline of this speed equates to this number? And then all these other variables they have in the game dictate what builds the player. Instead, you have this super specific number. What they run in the 40, varying greatly on what their speed rating is, and then when they come out and get questioned about this, they almost refuse to make it right. I understand because I've talked to some of them about it, that they feel looking at film, they can accurately portray if a player is slower or faster. But to me, you have to have something concrete to look at. There has to be a standard. There has to be a reference point, And often there's not. And when there's not, we're not getting the most accurate representation of a player in a game. And the player themselves has the right to be upset about the ratings when they feel they're not correct. Love to know what you guys think about this. Appreciate you checking out. I will be back in the week with more commentary.